Okay, this is gonna be a short video today. I'm just wanting to show you the battery combiner box. I've got a couple of these, one for each system. And these basically are going to take six, and I may upgrade to eight of these big 48 volt battery packs and combine them into these thousand amp bus bars. That's right, thousand amp bus bars. These breakers, now this, this box is large. It's three feet by 22 inches by nine and a half inches deep. It's large. It doesn't maybe look so large in the photo, but these are one amp, uh, one aught cables. These breakers are each seven inches long, an inch and a half thick, and this is three inches, but really with the terminal lugs, four and a half inches front to back. They um, have really large throws on them. And for each battery, I have a 175 amp fuse. It will hold easily um, four on each side. So I'm thinking that I will probably max out at eight of these 14 Point four kilowatt hour battery packs. But for now, I'm building six for this combiner box. And they, I've already got them wired in to the positive, uh, the battery positive bus bar. The negatives will simply come in and join to this. And then on the output side, they'll be feeding into three uh, in parallel inverters, hybrid inverters. And so each of those hybrid inverters will be fed by a 250 amp breaker. So I'll have six or eight 175 amp breakers feeding into the system and three 250 amp uh, breakers feeding into the inverters. Those inverters are all rated at 8,000 watts and so when you do the math it works out that the best size breaker for that is a 250 amp breaker now these were expensive i uh i agonized over spending this kind of money these retail at over a thousand dollars just for the box and the breakers retail at 130 dollars i was able to get a little better price than that but it's still a large amount of money. But as I've been working with this and putting this together, um, I've really decided that it's one of the better decisions that I made uh, to, to spend the money this way because this gives me something that I really don't have to worry about. Um, I had intended to do large uh, multi-terminal lugs to tie it all together, tie everything together in parallel, and then come off of that with wall-mounted individual breakers. And it just, there, there really isn't anything as good as these uh, Carling Switches breakers for the money. Um, these are made by Carling Switches. This combiner box is branded by Midnight Solar but they buy the components and, and I guess, um, assemble them into these uh, systems that they sell. And so I purchased all of this from Outbound Solar. Um, it's a Midnight Solar product. And you can see it's got six two, in two inch knockouts in the bottom. Those, I'll be using those. And then it has some two inch and some one and a quarter inch on the sides, and then the top is just loaded up with knockouts. And I will probably not use any of those. I think I'm gonna be coming only in and out of the bottom because that will be uh, where I need to come, the direction I need to come from from batteries and also the direction I need to come from to get over. This will be sandwiched in between the inverters and then the lines will come out of the bottom of it and run over and then up into the bottom of the inverters. 
So I went ahead and got this work done, uh, preparatory work done while I'm waiting for the batteries. And then today I got some really big news. Um, I think that I'm going to receive a big shipment of batteries tomorrow. We'll see, but it's possible. I'm going to go ahead and pack this thing back up into its box and then I'm going to get ready because I may be starting to receive 132 cells, the first big shipment of cells for these batteries and start the testing tomorrow. So I'm going to start organizing all of my test equipment again and I'm going to wrap this one up now. Please like and subscribe to the channel and um, share this with anybody you think might be interested. And I'm not even sure who that would be because I find that I'm interested in subjects that I never would have guessed. But share it with people and uh, hopefully we can get enough uh, momentum on the channel so that people that are actually interested in this are exposed to it. Because right now it's um, the channel is small enough that it's not being suggested to people based on the topic. And I'd like for that to happen. So we'll see you on the next video. Bye.